Hey, what's going on with you? You know who this is. This is Big J. Let's talk. I'll be right back. Hey, you know what? I, I, I know you've done this. If you're a content creator, you kind of got excited. You took your video, you edited it um, during halftime of the third quarter because you just knew when your team is up by 16 that they're going to blow the opponent out. I got so excited, so I did that. But the Lakers taught me a lesson tonight. Never, never, ever score their game until the end. <laughs> They barely beat the Denver Nuggets with several players out. I'm sorry. I'm excited for ja JaVale McGee getting his ring tonight. Um, but the Lakers, look, look at my thumbnail. They got their boxing swag gear on. NBA champions. They're letting it be known. But you can only beat Denver by three of four. Yeah, oh, man. They, you know what? They're in the fifth seed now by themselves. So Le LeBron James doesn't have to worry about the plan, all right? See, the whole thing changed tonight. They're in the fifth seed. You look at this, everything has changed. This, I'm telling you, this is how close the competition and the playoffs going into the play-in will be determined. It's determined by one game, game by game. That's why Charlotte has a, a, a chance to improve game by game, inch by inch. Game by game, just one game at a time. You're not thinking three or four games ahead. One game at a time. But this just totally blew me away tonight. I, I look back in the fourth quarter. I say, okay, let me get some dinner or something. I want to make sure I'm back to watch the blowout, right? I come back, and I'm looking like, what? Denver's only down by three? What? Oh, two? What went on? What happened? And, I, hey, you know what? I will say this. Wesley Matthews balled. He did ball. You know, I, I had issues and situations with him. Um, the Lakers are making that acquisition. But you know what? And watching him tonight, he can help them in their playoff run. He can definitely help them. If he played how he did tonight, yes. If Mark Gasol passes the ball how he did tonight, yes. All right? AD and LeBron are, I'm going to call them, supposed to. AD and LeBron are supposed to. That's why they get the max contracts, because they are supposed to. Everyone else is to do their job and assist the team like Mark Gasol did tonight. But LeBron and AD, their names are now supposed to. All right, but let, let me, this is what I did before the game was over, and I'll never do it again. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh. Goodness, let me say this again. And I have to say it this way because this is the only way I know it. When I look at the way the Lakers are dressed here, it reminds me of the world champion, the heavyweight, heavyweight boxer of the world, Muhammad Ali. And even though as he got older, Muhammad Ali did not lock, knock a lot of individuals out. But the key concept to that thought is they didn't knock him out either. And it is said once upon a time, but to, to be the champ, you have to be dominant over a champ and the Lakers are not holding that position as dominance right now in teams are giving them a run in the West. And that was always my concern with LeBron coming to the West, getting out of the East because the East was so soft and so free for him to dominate. I didn't say the East as a conference, but the, but LeBron's size and his build just made him dominant. But the, the West has those type of players. And what he tried to do is surround himself with those type of players to make the team more aesthetic to his field, which is not palpable to everyone else, but it's aesthetic to him. All right. So listen, if you look, I'm telling you, they are they should they should never wear those um, those whatever warm up jackets again until they are a team to where no other team can give them a run. That's my opinion. That is my opinion. Again. I don't know. I just don't know. But they are in the fifth seed. There's no one else in the fifth seed but them. So right now, they're in the fifth seed by themselves. But I'm going to say it again. The Charlotte Hornets has the opportunity, game by game, inch by inch, to get into that fifth seed or even that fourth seed. They won't even have to do the play-in tournament. And if the Lakers keep winning 
and keep getting stronger together, they'll won't, they won't even see the play in tournament and they'll see one of the lower seeds, which they will beat and take them to the second round. This is just my opinion. But you know what? Tonight's game was iffy. I'm sorry. There's no way you could be champions. And there's no way that you can let a Denver Nugget team, which has major injuries, you can't beat them by three or four points. You can't beat them by a last shot. You have to dominate them. When you are a champion, you have to dominate. When you are a champion, said again, in college football, Alabama is the champion. You have to, do if you don't dominate Alabama you, with Nick Saban, you're not a winner. All right? There's only a few teams that can compete. The Lakers should only have a few teams that can compete with them because they are the Alabama of basketball. And there's no one that should compete with you. Hey, tonight you've been on with Big J. These are my opinions of sports news and information. Everything that you hear from me is based solely on my understanding and what I perceive about the game of basketball. We are not an expert. We are not an expert. I've never played the game of basketball on that level. So what am I saying? The reviews and the things that I bring are based on the information that I study. And there are so many of the Big J family who come on who leave comments in the chat. They leave comments. They leave likes. And those comments help us understand better what it is we are researching. So I want to say thank you again. I want to say thank you again because you are the essence of this channel. And without you, we are nothing. So again, thank you to all those who have subscribed. Thank you to all those who have become a part of what we're doing. Because it's in you and by you that we simply are trying to be the best. Thank you again, Big J. You know what time it is. Roll that outro.